Now, today, we're here not just to celebrate the wins of our customers and crossing 50,000 users that have built with the product, but we're going to introduce something that is kind of the next step in the evolution and the fulfillment of our mission. To date, everything that users build with RoboFlow has been private to a user's account. The RoboFlow team can't see it, the broader world can't see it. And that makes a lot of sense for a vast array of commercial use cases that users are working on and building. However, one thing that we've learned, and in some sense has been surprised by and encouraged by, is how strong the computer vision community is. That is, building in public or collaborating, more, uh, uh, collaborating in a more open way and enabling folks to be able to partner and create products and bring them to production faster. I'll give you one really tactical example. In calendar year 2020, I like to say that there were thousands of mask detectors that were built with RoboFlow. And each of those users that showed up would take photos of their face, add a mask, go without a mask, label and annotate those given photos, train a model, and then deploy that model to identify if uh, you know, proper PPE was being used in a given situation they had been watching or not. And what's interesting is that when you see these sort of uh, many, many repeatable redundant use cases, there's something to be said for what would it look like if a user could show up and have someone else's data set that they've worked on and partner up and contribute back to that data set or start from an existing model checkpoint. Or in, in doing so, you could create a system where data sets and models are not only be able to go to production faster, but more representative. I could start working with a data set from someone that doesn't look like me in this example. And by then, the data set would be more representative of the world around us. And it would allow me to get to production faster because there'd already be images, annotations, and a model starting point. In a sense, we view the launch of what we're now introducing of turning our audience of 50,000 developers building with RoboFlow into a community so that it's not just us helping them build more effectively, but helping others build more effectively too. So what is RoboFlow Universe? It's a community space for collaborating on data sets in public building with models in public and sharing across uh, workspaces in a really community-driven way. RoboFlow Universe doesn't launch uh, with an empty set, however. We're gonna walk through a number of the community projects that are already out there. In a sense, all of the use cases that you've heard me talk about of how computer vision is changing our world, we at RoboFlow are seeing these every single day, but we want the world to be aware of them, of all the ways that our world is being improved by software being built more quickly and more efficiently. Now, I do have uh, Brad, co-founder and CTO at RoboFlow joining us and he'll be able to do a live demo, um, which is always a good idea, as you know, of walking through universe and kind of how it works and how it looks. So I'll pass it to Brad to be able to talk through this in a bit greater depth through a screen share. Thanks so much, Joseph. Uh, hello, everybody in the world, uh, and I guess everyone in the universe. Uh, I'm excited today to share what we've been working on for the past several months. Um, and so I'll go ahead and share my screen. But notably, you can follow along as well, because we just pushed this to production this morning. And so if you go to universe.roboflow.com, you can browse all of the community projects that we've now shared uh, and that our users have now shared, uh, and you can try them out. One thing that I'd like to call out is that part of our mission to democratize computer vision uh, is about expanding access. And that's why we're excited that with the launch of RoboFlow Universe, we're also la launching our new plans and pricing. And if you're going to be contributing your data and your models back into the community, all of RoboFlow's advanced features and increased usage limits are going to become free to you. And we're launching that today with RoboFlow Universe as well. So if you sign up for a free RoboFlow account and select uh, the public plan, um, you can contribute to this community and we will uh, essentially sponsor all of that usage for you. We're really excited about uh, what all you uh, will build and how you can all help each other. We've seen what, what the open source movement has done for the proliferation of code, and we want to do the same thing for computer vision. We think by helping you all share your data sets together, we'll help push this industry forward and pull the future towards us. So without further ado, let's go through an example of a project that's been shared on RoboFlow Universe. So on the, on the homepage, you can see that as Joseph mentioned, we have several dozen launch partners that we're starting with. Um, I'm gonna go into a project shared by uh, a YouTuber, Ritesh Kanji um, of Augmented Startups. Um, so when you click on a project, you get an overview of what it's all about. So this is an object detection data set uh, and it's 
looking for the different playing card classes. Um, with every data set that we've shared from the launch partners and many of the ones that our users will be sharing, you'll see this try this model button. And this is going to let you do something that you've never been able to do before on RoboFlow, which is use a trained model from another user. So of course, you can always download the data and train your own model with our model library or uh, in your own experiments. And this should be a boon for researchers who are publishing papers um, to see how generalizable their models are. But let's go into a demo of using this model. Um, and you can see here with any trained model, there are a whole bunch of deployment targets. We're really excited uh, in particular about working with Luxonis uh, on their OpenCV AI kit devices, but you can also deploy to devices like an NVIDIA Jetson or to any mobile application uh, or um, backend application through our API. Today though, I'm gonna show you uh, our integration with TensorFlow.js where I'm gonna hack into my webcam feed, which I'm currently sharing uh, via Zoom uh, to show you how this runs directly in my browser. So on any of these models, you can click use in your webcam and that will open up a new window that's going to load the weights directly into my browser. So this is not going to run in the cloud. This is going to run on my computer. And so now you should see me here, uh, and I happen to have a playing card deck. Um, so if I hold up a deck of cards, um, you'll see that in real time, it is running Ritesh's model and giving me results about which card I'm showing. Um, so you can see here I have the king of clubs and the queen of hearts. And it can even do multiple cards at a time. And this is all running client side in my browser. Um, and this is uh, something that we're really excited about because now you don't have to know anything about computer vision to be able to use computer vision in your applications. You can use this model and this data set that Ritesh uh, collected and trained to create an application, let's say a blackjack card counting application or a World Series of Poker, uh, poker odds calculator all without having to touch the data at all. You can just use this as an API uh, and you know, have let Ritesh do all the hard work of collecting the data set and training the model. And so we're really excited to see what sort of end user application software developers will build uh, and connect this community of software developers with the com community of data scientists and computer vision practitioners. So we hope that you uh, explore RoboFlow Universe and uh, check out a whole bunch of these different projects. And please share with us what you've built. Uh, we will be sure to amplify that uh, just like we saw earlier this week um, with the one Petri team who successfully launched their phage counter uh, model. So with that, I'll pass it back off to Joseph uh, and uh, I'll let him continue. So as Brad shared, RoboFlow Universe comes with the ability to also create a public workspace where you have access to all of the features, advanced features of RoboFlow Pro, advanced augmentations, the ability to train models on hosted GPUs, deploy models directly to your application, whether that's via web host API or on device, automated model assisted labeling through automated annotation, being able to share and collaborate with team members or colleagues to annotate things together and a more efficient streamlined workflow, all in pursuit of making it easier and more accessible for anyone in the world to get started with computer vision projects. Um, now, I'd love to go into one step uh, deeper of some of the things that we already have live in RoboFlow Universe. In the same way that I walked through some of the examples that our customers were working on, I wanna talk through some of the examples that of models that are already live with data sets and model endpoints that you could use today. So in addition to the card model that Brad walked through of uh, detecting playing cards, um, there's a number of other models. I'm not gonna walk through all of them. In fact, they're live on universe.roboflow.com if you wanna go there today. But I do wanna highlight a few of our launch partners. One of them is uh, Michael Smosh, who's getting his master's degree uh, in Montreal. And he created what's called a phage counter of identifying uh, phages in Petri dishes. And this research is essential to discovering and identifying how different viruses respond to bacteria. Michael showed up at RoboFlow hmm, maybe just three weeks ago and already has a production application deployed in the app store that anyone can use if you happen to be in microbiology research. Um, Michael's story is not terribly uncommon in fact. Being able to create a model from scratch and share that model openly and share the data set openly uh, also happened with uh, a group of researchers that are cleaning up the world's oceans. So a research team in California with origins in Monterey uh, created and published a paper called Deep Plastic 
And what they did is they said, what would it look like if we built a model that understands and identifies plastic bags in the ocean and then equipped underwater autonomous vehicles with the ability to clean up our world's oceans on our behalf? And so they created and collected a data set of plastic bags all across the ocean and underwater marine environments, trained a number of different models, and now we're releasing the data set and the model endpoints for anyone to be able to use the same technology to continue to clean our world's oceans. And a funny small plug about this project, one of those authors on that paper is actually one of RoboFlow's newest employees starting this week, J-Lo as a field engineer, um, which we're extremely excited to have him uh, as a part of the team. And I know many of our customers that are on this conversation are eager to meet Jay shortly as well. In addition to that, um, there's a, uh, one of our partners called Reese who build products for enabling drones to have smart automation technologies have built a number of models with RoboFlow. One of the ones that I quite like, it's not bad, it's quite good, is a sheep counter, which uses a model to identify from aerial imagery how many sheep are on a given farm at a given point in time. There's tens of thousands of annotations that this team collected and shared in their application. And they created an app that's already available in the Google Play Store. Um, I think that you should really check out this one in particular because uh, it's, I don't know, it's a perspective that I've never seen of like looking down across our world. Um, now, of course, this isn't possible without the incredible RoboFlow team. Uh, you can see a subset of some of us uh, here on the slide behind me. And as I just alluded to, we're hiring pretty aggressively. There's quite a few um, uh, needs that we're fulfilling across software engineering, marketing, being able to enable our customers to succeed. And so if you're interested in, in helping us democratize the future of computer vision, we highly recommend that you check us out at roboflow.com slash careers. The other thing that I want to note is that Universe is open today. If you have a project and you want to have it out in the open, you want to recognize the work that you've done, create a resume line, move the field forward, contribute to the broader computer vision community, there's no better place to do that than RoboFlow. You'd be joining the ecosystem of 50,000 other developers that are creating and moving forward across all industries, biology, retail, manufacturing, everything in between is possible uh, with the products that we've seen and what folks are working on using RoboFlow. Now with that, um, I do want to open it up to see if there's any questions that have come in on the webinar. Uh, and we'll orchestrate a bit of a um, Q&A here before we'll turn it over to uh, departing and encouraging everyone to of course, check out RoboFlow Universe.